Green Dawn if I hear of another battle report. We have a former 40k battle report. Apocalypse though. Like five, around, around 5,600 points on each side. Using um, some of the rules from Stronghold Assault. From the Stronghold Assault like this. Except a little bit more modified since I had to make this up. Uh, so I'll just go over my list. Squad of 30 boys here. Uh, Shooter, knob of power, fall boss ball. Got a big Mac custom force field to help these guys out. Uh, another squad of 30 boys, knob, power, club, boss pole, shooters. Both squads have shooters. And except this squad of 30, which starts from right there and goes up to those trucks, all have um, heavy armor. Uh, have another squad of 30 boys up here on the ramparts. Uh, shooters, just normal. Things got a big chopper knob, or no, just a normal knob with boss pole. Got a big Mac just standing there. There's a warp field generator, vortex generator thing, my Bob, right there. I just like he's powering it or whatever. Got nine looters right there standing. Uh, where? Got another. Got a squad of ten looters and under under it, under the ramparts. It's pretty awesome. Here I got a little bunker with this cannon, some shooters, and there's some other cannons in there. Same thing over there, except there's no big cannon on top. Got this big old apocalyptic cannon right here. It's not the macro cannon, I just used some more, I made it a little bit less points and did something. No no D, no D weapons. That wouldn't be fun. Uh, yeah, it's a really big cool fortress. Haven't really finished painting it, but presentable. Got a truck here with 12 boys, power claw knob, just, it's gonna be the same thing, all 12 boys, all slugger chopper knob, power claw boss pole, times three, cause this truck, this truck, that truck. Got a battle wagon, two big shooters, eight, eight knobs, and a war boss with mega armor. The knobs all have three power claws, three big, big choppers, pain boy, all cyborg bodies and the exact same thing here another battle wagon with the same loadout of guys inside uh, got three killer cannons with all rockets got a dreadnought extra close combat weapons probably not gonna do anything got a squad of bike was daca get smack whatever not bikes rolling up pain boy power claws all the whole the whole nine yards or however you say that. Um, and in reserve, I have a a stompa. Just a normal stompa. Has and also a dreadnought. And then a docker jet. Yeah. So using apocalypse things. Things we're kind of using old apocalypse rules since we don't have the new apocalypse book. So. It might be outdated a little bit, but not going into what would the Eldar have. Okay, this is actually a combo Eldar Space Marine uh, venture. Uh, basically, I'll start over here and move that way. Uh, fire Prism with the Hollow Fields, uh, a group of War Walkers, all scattered lasers. Uh, three, well, this is all one group, but that's uh, three Shadow Weavers uh, with their little Guardian people. Uh, this is a tech marine with a thunderfire cannon. I've chosen to boost this up from a 4 plus cover save to a 3 plus for this particular fortification. Uh, this right here, four Dark Reapers. One is the Alpha Arc. X Arc. Yeah, X Arc. Uh, he has actually a. Uh, <coughs> that right there. Yeah, he has a uh, missile launcher. This is him. Yeah, I'm sorry. He has a missile launcher, he has fast shot. Uh, this is actually Eldred Uthane. He has four powers, uh, which I've already rolled for. Uh, okay, yeah, sorry. This is what he actually has for powers. He has fortune, he has guide, he has prescience, and he has perfect timing, which is like a ignore cover type thing for like his unit uh, and himself. This is a wave serpent. This has uh, bright lances. Uh, serpent shield, obviously. This is another wave serpent uh, with uh, scatter lasers. This is a wave serpent with bright lances. 
Uh, Avatar. The Avatar actually has a couple XR powers and things like that. He has Fast Shot and Crush. I did Monster, Monster Hunter. It's not really going to help me because he doesn't have any monstrous creatures, but oh well. Uh, two uh, Wraith Lords there, and they have uh, two Bright Lances on each on each shoulder. Uh, <coughs> I already said this was a uh, Wave Serpent right here. It's a Fire Prism. Two groups of six Swoopy Hawks with uh, an X Arc and an X Arc, and they bet the X Arcs have the Sun Rifle. Uh, and this is a group of eight Warlocks of the Seer Council. They all have different abilities. Uh, I have two Conceal Reveals, two Protect Jinx, uh, Quicken Restrain, and an Enhanced Drain, and Empower. Uh, and, and a Destructor. Uh, this is a Farseer that's with this group. He actually has Guide, Mind War, and Doom. Uh, this is a group of nine uh, Dire Avengers, one of them being an Exarch. But he does have the Shimmer Shield and uh, Power Weapon just to give them invulnerable saves. Uh, this is another group, the same build out as those Dark Reapers here. So again, the, the Exarch with the Missile Launcher and the Fast Shot. Over here in reserve, well actually not in reserve, but uh, I have a group of fire dragons with Fuegan and uh, another Farseer in one of the wave serpents. This group of six uh, Wraith Guard with the D sites and a uh, Farseer in another uh, of the wave serpents. And then uh, I have these warp spiders and my auto arc in reserve, deep striking. I have the Candrus with an apocalyptic uh, formation with uh, two squads of dire vent or scorpions. Uh, I have a, a two groups of dire vendors in reserve. I have the Crimson Hunter with the Exarch in reserve. Uh, over here, I have two land speeders with multi meltas. They're in reserve, but they're going to infiltrate uh, or on flank. Uh, they're in reserve. I have a group of uh, veteran com command. Uh, no, are they stern guard? They're stern guard. They, there's four, five of them with actual uh, multi meltas, combine melta, or combine meltas. Uh, the veteran sergeant has a uh, melta bomb. This is a librarian with a storm shield, uh, and this is a uh, dreadnought, an ironclad dreadnought with. Uh, Melta gun and a uh, thunder hammer, I think. Seismic hammer. Another uh, drop pod right there. There's two drop pods. Yeah, there's two drop pods. That's going the one that's come in uh, by itself. So, that being said, that's my army uh, going up against an apocalyptic creature with no apocalyptic uh, monster of my own. So, we'll have to see what happens here. But I am going first, which is a good thing, and we'll see what happens. Okay, the end of the movement phase uh, for my uh, drop pod, I put him right here. He came out with the, uh, the dreadnought. He jumped out six inches right there. For my before I actually made any of my movements, I did use Eldritch power to reposition some units. I repositioned my war walkers right here. I repositioned my jet bikes that were over there to right here. And then in the movement phase, I jumped them up 12 inches. Uh, this wave serpent, I moved up 12 inches. This uh, wave serpent, I moved up 12 inches. And that one, I moved up 12 inches as well. The two fire prisms shifted an inch just to get a, a jinx save. And uh, as far as all my powers go, the farseer on the bike here, he gave a uh, guide to the Dark Reapers right there. And then the Farseer that's uh, right there with the Fire Dragons, he gave fortune to the Fire Dragons. And then I, I rolled some bad rolls that I didn't get anything else off. Uh, Eldred actually gave fortune to the Avatar. He gave a guy to this Wraith Lord right there. He gave Prescience to the fire prison right here and I was able to give ignore cover to the shadow weavers right there. So that's the end of my movement and we'll go into the shooting phase and come back.
Okay, into the shooting phase. Uh, during my shooting phase, I did destroy the, the shield here, so it is gone. That allowed me to actually shoot at some of these orcs. I did a combination of shooting with my war walkers, with my shadow reavers, with my uh, thunderfire cannon, and just about everything else. And I took out a bunch of Ludas, probably about, there's two left, so I guess maybe eight Ludas. I took about five Ludas off down here, uh, probably about five or six Orc boys up here. Uh, with these jet bikes, I was up here, and I shot and killed maybe the first row of Orc boys here. Uh, the Dark Reapers, both groups, shot at this, well one group shot at a truck, it made it explode or it gave it a wreck, these guys jumped out. Another Dark Reaper shot over here and killed some of these guys. Uh, a lot of other shooting take took place, but uh, basically that's all that happened. Uh, again, I tried to make some shots at this big cannon, but I wasn't able to penetrate it. But at least the shield is gone at this point. And uh, the last thing I did was I assault moved back these jet bikes. So that's the end of my turn. And we'll come back with the orc turn one. Alright, so in my movement, I moved up my boys in a normal manner. The boys that move all the vehicles up. And this is not 12, right? Yeah, they all moved up 12. This Chuck moved back, dropped out its boys, and tried to take out this dreadnought before I called any more annoyances to me. These guys spread out. Uh, Stampa came on board because my strategic asset was careful planning. So instead of coming out, half of my models coming out on turn 2. It was turn one. It, this, it was in. This from the old apocalypse rule, so it's actually probably outdated. Probably can't do that anymore. But we don't have the new apocalypse rule book. So moved up. Probably just gonna run. But we'll be back with my shooting. All right. So in my turn, after I just ran up these guys, they didn't, they didn't run much. Ran up those kill cans. Tor boosted everyone up. Uh, I I. Let go of all my uh, one-shot weapons, so a lot of my super missiles on the stomp over there as well. All in all, I was able to take out all three war walkers, kill a warlock, take off a whole point from there, and make it to where I can't assume snapshot next turn. Destroy that wave serpent, take off the main prism cannon off that one, kill both wraith floors because, well actually no, that wasn't because of that. That was from all my one-shot weapons. This guy with his super Gatler that like keeps on like within 12 inches you pick a new target then shoot then pick a new target and I just it was like 12 it was just insane I just went back and forth killed all the Dark Reapers all these both Wraith Lords took off the gun off that one and yeah that's that was insane I was able to also take that I char tried to charge here but failed uh, there was really no other shooting. Over here, I did charge that ironclad dreadnought, and I took off a hole point. Well, I penetrated it, but, um, I mean, all I did was take off a hole point, and he killed two orcs. So, now, uh, yeah, so now I'm going into, uh, turn two of Eldar. Okay, start of Eldar turn two. I went ahead and brought in my reserves. I could bring in actually three things. Uh, the first thing I brought in was this drop pod. I wanted it to come in right here. It did shift back a little bit. I popped out my uh, stern guards with the combine meltas right there. The second thing is uh, these land speeders with multi meltas. Uh, uh, they were infiltrating. I rolled so that they came in on this edge. So that's those. That's two groups. Uh, the third thing that came in was uh, this Crimson Hunter. I placed it right there. And the two groups that were in continuing or ongoing reserves, they just popped down right there, those uh, Soupy Hawks. So that's what came in in reserve. I still have three groups, I believe, uh, off the table. And I'm going to go ahead and just talk about what I uh, rolled for my psychic abilities. Uh, for my Seer Council here, I was able to get Conceal Reveal, two Protect Jinxes, uh, actually another Conceal Reveal, a Quicken Restrain, an Empower, and a Destructor. 
Uh, so that's what these uh, jet bikes got. Uh, my far seer on the bike, he was able to uh, guide uh, and he was able to doom this group of 12 orc boys right here. Uh, he guided these dark reapers right here in this uh, fortification. Uh, the next far seer, the far seer uh, with the fire dragons, he was able to fortune the fire dragons and he gave perfect timing to the fire dragons, which ignores cover. And then the other Farseer right here, he was able to guide the Dire Avengers, he was able to press against the plane, and he was giving a uh, uh, forewarning, four plus invulnerable save to this group right here, the fire dragons. Eldred, he was able to fortune the Avatar. I guided this group of Dark Reapers, and uh, I did that twice as well. And he was able to press against the avatar, and I gave the ignore cover rule to the shadow weavers. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my movement phase real quick, and we'll come with that. Come back with that. Okay, finishing up with uh, before I actually shoot my movement phase, I move the avatar six inches this way. I move my fire dragons up just to get a look within melter range of those vehicles there. Uh, I move these jet bikes 12 inches right there. I move that uh, wave serpent 12 inches over towards that objective. Uh, I did move up this wave serpent 6 inches and popped out my uh, D-Sight uh, rape guard. And this right here, I move 12 inches just to get away. It uh, doesn't have a big gun anymore. This one, it could only snap fire, so I shifted it just to be behind this building so there's no line of sight. And that's all my movement, and we'll go into the shooting phase. Okay, recapping the turn, uh, my turn's ended. Went ahead and shot these uh, Meltas at the back here. Shot my multi combine Meltas against this. And uh, basically, all, after everything was said and done, it lost, uh, went down from 12 to 8 hull points, it can only move half the distance, it's still alive and well. Over here, this is kind of jumping around, but just sits on back here. This uh, was able to kill another orc, but then it died. The, the dreadnought, so those guys consolidated forward. Over here, these guys had jumped out like I'd sh shown you earlier. They were able to flame. Uh, they had like 15 wounds and uh, uh, actually you were hitting 15 guys and were able to kill 10. Uh, over here, it uh, took a lot of shooting and uh, you know blowing up different trucks, but uh, I was able to take out one of the tanks, the big uh, carriers. It had like, well, it had those orcs right there back in it, all well, those knobs. I did take out that truck right there. It uh, was wrecked. These guys here went ahead and shot, killed another knob. Uh, there was a group of 12 orcs that were in that truck. That was in that truck, and, and all the shooting from the Dire Avengers and from the Dark Reapers, able to kill those two guys. Uh, the rest of these things, all of it, like for example, this wave serpent shot to take out that last uh, hull point over there. So really not a lot done. Uh, it took out a little truck, took out the battle wagon, it took out a knob, and four hull points from the big stomp of Apocalypse creature. Other than that, nothing else was done. A couple knobs and a couple orcs died, but that's about it. It's coming back and forth too long. Alright, so I'm going to recap my... Um, almost my entire turn moving and shooting. Moved basically everything up, Dr. Jet came on. This guy popped out that dreadnought that was inside of him. Those guys, when they killed that dreadnought, moved over there. Everyone shot over there, didn't do anything. Moved up, Waz Doctor moved off. Everyone, these people all shot into here, but since these guys were fortunate, way can take tank them all, couldn't do anything even though I flamed them. Here, I flamed all the die Avengers, they all died besides this one guy, Farsi, had one wound, they're in charge. These guys are probably going to charge the fire dragon to Waz Daka. These boys are going to charge those guys. These boys are probably going to try to charge 
those um, jet bike cancel. All a bunch of shooting from all of the fortification went into the wraith guard, killed four of them. There's only two left. Those boys are probably gonna charge them and probably multi charge that. I don't know, maybe. And that's probably all the charge. Oh, back here, boys gonna charge the stern guard. Dreadnoughts gonna charge those um, land speeders. We'll see what goes from there. Alright, an assault. Yeah. Okay, I think, yeah, I did shoot it already. An assault. Assault it here. They're really bad. Because they had fortune. I forgot. Couldn't do anything. Put a wound on Fuegan. But, but Fuegan also put a wound on my war boss because we got into a challenge. Here, assaulted. Killed the Farseer. Killed the Wave Serpent. Uh, here, two Wraith Guard. The Wraith Guard killed two of my guys. But then here, when they exploded, it actually killed and wounded one of the Wraith Guard and they died. These orcs killed the swooping hawks and saw they forward. Here, the death dread killed both those land speeders, but we just didn't move them. These guys were able to stay in combat, were able to kill two stern guards. And, uh. Right into turn three. Now. Into turn three. Fell down turn three. Okay, movement phase. I brought in the rest of my reserves, but I moved that plane 36 inches, turned it, vector danced it to try to take out this. Uh, Orc flyer. This I moved up six inches, popped out my guys, the Dire Avengers to capture that space or at least be next to it. Brought Candorus and ten uh, scorpions right there. Brought these Dire Avengers out of reserve. Jinx this right here. Uh, made a jinx of this over here. Uh, I actually haven't. Oh, these guys came in in reserve. They landed right here. I'm going to go ahead and do some movement and uh, we'll come back with the shooting. Okay, just before shooting, uh, as far as my psychic powers, I, uh, Aldrid gave uh, ignore cover to the Shadow Reavers and uh, I guided them. Uh, and I also prescience the Avatar. Uh, these Star Avengers were guided by this Farseer on a bike. And I actually did uh, fortune over here from this farseer on the the, far, the, the dragons, and uh, I did prescience as well. I tried to do mind war against this guy, but nothing happened. Uh, we s uh, rolled, and he just became weapon skill and ballista skill one. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go into shooting. We'll come back and see what happens. Okay, end of the Eldar turn, uh, went ahead and shot uh, my Dire Avengers at this group of, uh, it used to be 30 orcs, uh, shot there, shot my fire, uh, my Wave Serpent and all my shots there, and actually helped out with my uh, blast weapons here, uh, the Space Marines and the Shadow Reavers, got it down to just one guy remaining over here. Candorus took out, Candorus and the Scorpions took out, you know, the nine or ten orc boys right here in Assault. Uh, over here, there was a group of ten orc boys. I was able to, they were doomed. I was able to shoot with my, uh, uh, my bikes. I shot them and then I assaulted them and were able to wipe them out. Uh, these Dark Reapers helped out in that. Over here, my... Warp Spiders came in here, they battle focused up to right here, took out those three uh, warp, or what are they called, those Killicans. And over here, the Farsi, or the, uh, my avatar actually finally got into assault and took out uh, one of these big uh, war bosses on a bike, but then the rest of his knobs took out all the rest of my fire dragons. That is the end of my turn, and we'll come back with fork turn three. In Eldar turn, they forgot to say they also destroyed my uh, plane. My movement, well, I'm going to go over my movement now. My death dread moved over to ready to take um, take out those space to help my orcs. Dreadnought moved up, gonna flame those guys. Spikes moved back, trying to flame and shoot, try to take those guys off that objective. This moved up, dumped those knobs there to take that objective. Probably not gonna be able to touch this or that one. And uh, spending the rest of my shooting, just gonna be thrown randomly. But 
but I'm obviously going to try to take up as much as I'm supposed to do. Alright, I did my shooting and assaulting phase. Shooting, put the death cannon over these guys from the Stompa. Killed two warlocks and put a wound on the uh, avatar. From that burst, uh, or from that one, it was a big, part, large lava, whatever they're called. I don't know. I just made one up. Uh, put it on here. Killed the. Didn't kill that many. Two. Dire vendors. Two of them, but killed like five, five scorpions. Ugh. All the shooting here. Put two whole points on that plane and took up one bright lance. Everything. A lot of these guys shot into the uh, orb spire. Just killed all of them. Capturing that objective and assault. Wagon laid my war boss low. The Wraith Lord model for Wagon. But, yeah, that sucks. Uh, and over there, the Stern Girl were slaughtered by the, by the Dreadnought in the last knob. And so, yeah, that was the end of my turn. Okay, going into turn four, uh, Went ahead and moved my jet, did a vector dance to try to line up with the back of this. Uh, I moved my fire prism just to get a jinx. Moved this fire prism 12 inches and moved this wave serpent 12 inches. Scorpions are trying to run down this big mech that has one wound. Uh, as far as movement, uh, I went ahead and moved avatar up six inches, I moved these guys up twelve inches, I got destructor off, and I got conceal reveal off, and uh, I had some guides and things like that, uh, but right now we're going to go ahead into the shooting and see what happens. Okay, end of shooting phase, uh, my crimson hunter took out this tank, made it explode, uh, there were some damages over here, but he made all the saves. Uh, I was trying to kill this this thing contesting or capturing that uh, capture point. I took one hull point away. I shot Serpent Shield, Bright Lance, uh, two uh, missile launchers, uh, Bright Lance again, Fire Prison, whatever it is, Lance. It survived. It was ridiculous. Everything else, these guys, none of these guys died. Uh, put three wounds over here, and that's really all that happened. I'm gonna do. Oh, one thing to note: I did kill this big mech with the force field, and my scorpion shot him. Came up, shot him, and then uh, battle focus back to that place. So I'm gonna go into charges, try to get my avatar into assault range, and see what happens. Okay, in the challenge uh, portion, assaulting. Avatar went in, took a wound away, and killed one of the uh, mob bikers. And then the mob bikers assaulted back and killed all of the, the little uh, jet bikes. Over here, Fuegan killed one guy, one knob, but then he died, so these guys consolidate four. So it's going to be the orc turn four and coming to the end of the game. We just skipped to the, uh, the main and fun part. Uh, we just had the assault. I was able to all the power claws I assaulted with those guys. Uh, Avatar was no match. And with that, I was able to capture that objective, hold that one, hold that one for the entire game. Capture that one. But although I'm still holding this one and holding that one, so it was an orc victory. Eldar still had both line breaker and. Uh, First blood. Neither of us had slayed the warlord though. So it was, it was pretty close. Well, four of these objectives are three points each. Yeah. There you have twelve to six. Yeah, but you have two points, you have eight. Twelve to eight. No wait. I have three, so I have nine. You have eight. Yeah. I think I have three objectives. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, four. yeah. So 12. 12 to 8. To 8. Uh, and you 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, the, the, the thing that killed me is that one turn when you're stomping. Yeah. My stomp was insane. Whatever it's called, it's like the rolling. mega mega Gatler or something. You keep rolling until you roll doubles. Until you roll doubles. And he just kept shooting. He took out all my uh, dark reapers. He took out my two, two wraith lords. lords. And he blew up this, which made it just useless. And maybe kill the dark avenger or something. But that was just like pretty yeah, bad. That was just insane. And then just those big cannons were just like those. those shots but they didn't really do that much. They they, they, they hurt really some. They whittled down. They whittled down the the jet the, yeah the jet bikes. They killed these things like just they just. That was that down. was that was something else. But yeah. And then my big thing was to come down with the my uh, the whole the, whole, the, the entire the Space Marine right? army came from the yeah. from behind. Try to knock this out with my multi melters and combine melters, and I just took out four. Of them. Whole Four points. hall points, and then after that, I had nothing else to take it out. Yeah. Well, all the LR came from this way. The space friends came sneaky behind, just trying to take out the Stampa. The biggest, the funnest part for me, because it was pretty painful, but was when Candors came in and took out those ten orc boys. I think that same turn, I was basically shooting because one of these groups. Yeah, and shot you shot like everything into these guys and, and just they were killed all and of the them. The only guy that survived was, was that, the, the that big, man. big man. And what was funny was away. for two rounds, the far seer that was in that big jet bike um, war seer squad mind warred him first time like we tied, and then and then so and then he got shot. He had one wound. He was running away after everyone all, after all his comrades were dead, and then he was mind warred again. But he actually beat the far seer. With his leadership ten and my leadership eight, and it was, it was hilarious. But then, but then Karanderus came with his shooting and just shot him to death. So that was my biggest thing was to take out all those orc boys in, in the truck. Uh, there was like some orc boys, two groups of 20, 30, 30, 30 yeah. that I took out, and there's a group of twelve that I took out yeah. with the. Uh, actually, when I I shot all my uh, little jet bikes at them. Uh, but yeah, basically at the end of the game, all my boys were dead besides the ones protected inside of here. I mean, the really the ones who caused all the damage were the knobs. We just yeah. came in and blew they up everything. I mean, you know, Fuegan did really good, and the Avatar did pretty good. Fuegan killed this big war boss, the Avatar killed this war boss, and both of them took out a couple knobs here. But it's just insane that he kept making those invulnerable saves. Yeah, I, mean, I rode really pain well. Boy, the pain boy just they always make max points. Ridiculous. It was a cool, yeah, it was, it was a good game, but, man, so. No, so well, what do you like about it? Well, I, li I like that part with the mind war. And I like this new fort I make. I don't know, it caught, I don't know, I kind of made up the points for it since I don't know what it was. I, just, I made it a thousand points. It seemed like they just kept shooting and shooting at the beginning, especially all those one-shot items were just crazy. Yeah. I don't know if it was overcosted or undercosted, but it did pretty good. It was in a cool or fort that you're trying to catch. It just held you at a line though. All right. Well, our, our next video will probably be um, New Tier Nicodicus coming out, so I'm probably gonna review that and get it and give my thoughts over it. And just uh, a little teaser: we may have some new models.